Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. I'm gonna show you how to play root 3rd 7 shell chords, like root 7 3rd, root 3rd 7, I'll show you detail, and play over 12 buff blues, and stay in tune, stay in tempo, so that I'm gonna use metronome two different ways. One is every beat, one is every other beat. So you have to learn blues form and how to use metronome. In order to do this, you see like, you want to improvise, you want to jam with people. When you improvise, in general, you use blues sometimes, okay? Blues is very, um, like a universal form. A lot of people use the blues, okay? So, sometimes people say, yes, I know blues, but then when we jam, not really blues. It's just like a little bit uh, messed up, you know, <laughs> I should say messed up, mixed up about the form, okay? So, let's do this one slowly. The first one, you see, I use this form, right? Root, seven, third. So like here, B flat major chord, right? Do you know that? Root, fifth root, major third or fifth root. But then this one, root, this is called flat seven and the third. I'm using second, third, or fourth string. So already a lot technique. You see, thumb position right here and you use second, third, or fourth finger. And I'm using, I'm using pick, but you see, I'm, I'm just you know, holding a pick in between my finger like that. So this is how I hold a pick, and then here, you see? So you have to practice like that. So now, so I'm using thumb, second finger, third finger, like that. All right? You got that? That's a B plus seven, okay? Six string root, root seven third. So this way you have root, guide a tone, guiding flat seven major third. If you don't know, please join my guitar wisdom. Then you learn theory section. Root third seven, jazz standard section. Now you learn so much. Now E plus seven, you use second, third, fourth, <laughs> second, first, third. I'm lying. So now here, sixth fret, fifth and sixth. Root major third plus seven. You got that? So you have to see it. A little bit of room. Not, not grabbing too much. Do you know this guitar? Fender. Bruno Mars. Alright. Okay, so you go rhythm like this. Ta 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 One four one one four and one two three four like that and a five five and four and one by the way I'm using amplifier one control BJF S100, really unique amp. It has a clean channel, overdrive channel, distortion, and transistor amp, really nice. And this eminent technology, flat, flat screen kind of, uh, flat, you know, a speaker, it's amazing. You know, I love it, so compact. So, and I'm using Fender, Bruno Mars uh, signature, really, really nice. Good for jazz, funk, blues, everything. You know?
So let me try. Okay, so now first one. All right, so you have to do like this. First you have to do, you, you have to move your body a little bit, okay? So maybe I should, you know, show you here. This is very important. First, your body is moving. So without the sound, when people watch you, video, if, if people understand what rhythm you're in. That's very important, you know? All right, one, a two, a one, two, three, four, Don't look at the finger because of only you using two fingerings. At least you have to play four times and no fills. Simple and a little bit softer. Move your body. Raise your face, look at your friend, your audience. Okay? Good job. Now, this is the second time you focus on the uh, uh, form. Good. No fills. This melody is. Um, Bugs Groove by Milt Jackson. Da, 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 da. Four bar phrase, really nice. I use a lot for this. One more time. No feels. I give you homework. Oh, okay, I made a mistake. That's fine. So this is a really, you know, uh, unique opportunity for me to tell you that making mistakes is good because that's how you learn how to avoid it or how to get out from the situation. Just like a life, we make mistakes, so that's why we, we, we learn, oh, let's leave a little early, so just be in case, maybe traffic, something like that. You can just go, oh, exactly, we have half an hour, so we can go. I don't know, sometimes something won't work, you know? So, I know smart people always want to figure out exactly what to do, but sometimes in life, you can't you do exactly what to do something always happen you know rain you know ah something else so main focus is in order to do best job for you to do jam with the people and improvise so in order to improvise you have to know the form i have a few students that do improvisation pretty good but always adding a bar adding something you know with a metronome that means that person not in, you know, spend enough time practicing. I spent so much time practicing rhythm guitar because I wasn't born talented. I was just a regular guy, okay, who wants to play guitar. The guitar only thing I, I love. So I sacrificed my time and I dedicate and I committed my time to practice. So whatever I need, I did it. So I figured it out. Practice with metronome, play rhythm guitar. Very simple. That's what I did. That's why I can follow chord progression. If I play solo, I can play without backing track. So I can see a lot of young people, a lot of older people. It's almost like a result of technology. It means this technology is good, you know, because I have real amp, real speaker, but this is a replacement to have something unique and simple and light so that a little bit more you know make life, my life easier but music when you practice sometimes 
you you can go to YouTube and then backing track and somebody showing a chords and a scale. So almost like everybody has like you know, um, like idea of oh if I learn this if I use this, I can become Eric Johnson or Steve Vai or whatever you know or you know um, John Mayer or Joe Bonamassa. It's not that easy. These people really dedicate their time. They committed, they commit, you know, pursue. All right, John Mayer, Joe Bonamassa, both are kind of similar age, still single, really pursue their music every day, you know. And they play with a the band, they practice, and their age is great because they just discover CD when they were young, but then there is no MP3 yet. So they still have to use a tape recorder or you know something to do uh, create their music. Nowadays, Pro Tools and YouTube and everything, you know. So unfortunately, these technology kind of take over your homework, and you don't have to do your homework because already there's a backing truck or something. But you just cannot learn that way very difficult just because you have to work your skills you know so trust me should be able to do this 88 per beat okay four times can you do that and then first time just play like that and second third fourth time practice uh, you know sing that melody now one more i don't want to get too long so this is important now two four Two four. <laughs> I don't know why it amp me. Okay, so here watch. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. fails pick a little softer no reverb nothing just amp and guitar can you see my finger That's it. So you see, after that, you can do.
made a mistake with it, but that's okay. So you see, that's gone. I'm a human, you know, I'm not perfect. So don't be perfect. Do as much as you can. But we make mistakes, that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about little things, okay? Now, just like that, I add a little bit toward the end. You know, eventually you can play some phrase around the B flat blues and always you know, use third or seven to um, guide guiding the chord progression. You see, that's really important, you know. So that's it. Okay, do you understand? Number one, learn blues chord progression, root seven third, root third or seven. So what you need to do is this. Okay, root seven third. Okay, six six seven. That's it. Root seven third. Now this one root major third and seven. Okay, E flat. Then you learn one four one one, four four one one, five four one five. Then you wanna do uh, use a metronome 88 per beat, okay? Four times, and then first time just play third, second, third, second, third, fourth time just play, and if you can sing, sing, and then second time set metronome at the 44, and then 214, okay? That's it. All right. Thank you so much for watching Tom the Music. So exciting. Thank you. And if you wanna learn more, you can join my Guitar Wisdom. Welcome to join and you can learn everything and you can keep improving. Alright, let's go to next one. See ya.